put it out on my Snapchat to send me um, questions for a Q&A. So I'm going to answer some questions as I take this drive. The first question I got is, why is the Navy trash? And in my opinion, every branch has its downfall. Every branch has something wrong with it. A lot of the branches will share common issues. Like one of the issues that I've been having is issues with my pay. I've been having issues with my pay pretty much since I got in the Navy. And of course they're working to resolve it all. But um, that's like one of those issues that could happen no matter, no matter what branch you're in. Um, specifically towards the Navy, I think the only thing that really sucks about it is having to go on deployments on a tin can with you know a couple thousand people um, in the middle of the ocean. A lot of people don't know this, but on a carrier, it can hold up to 6,000 people. And I haven't really spent any time on one yet, but from what I've heard is that huge ships, because those ships are gigantic, they start to feel very small, very fast. The next one said, um, answer questions about what I want the future to be like for the channel. So, I know I'm really bad at posting um, constantly. I, I struggle with uh, being consistent with putting out content. And I'm trying to work on that. That's why I'm making this video today. I'm just trying to push myself to put out content for everybody. And um, so where do I see it going? Um, what I would like for the channel to go, like in the direction I would like it to go, is um, do my contract in the military and keep filming while I'm in so, so by the time I get out, uh, the channel can support me. Um, but that also relies a lot on the viewers and what's going on with YouTube because it's not really, you know, it's solid right now, but you know, something could change. How, how like uh, Facebook was really big and then they started having all the issues with hacking and everything. So you, know, you never know what could happen, but um, I'm gonna try to get uh, everything I can while I'm in the Navy so that uh, if the YouTube stuff doesn't work out, I will have a backup. And also, I love working on cars, so that's something that I could always do. Um, it would just be hard to find a well-paying job working on cars. The next question is, what is my dream build? My dream build is a uh, JZX100 Chaser, a Toyota Chaser from Japan. Um, I love four-door cars. I love bigger body cars. The two, the 1J is a really good motor. Um, I, I don't know, I just, I love them. I think it, it would be so cool to have one. Um, I did look at them a little bit and they're really expensive so it, it won't happen anytime in the near future, but it is one of the cars that hands down, I have to get my hands on one day. It's sunny out and it's starting to rain. But um, the next question was, um, uh, do I miss the meets that I used to host? And yeah, I miss them, but like I was just in Maryland, uh, I don't know, like two weeks ago, and I hosted a meet, and that went really well. Um, it wasn't anything, you know, crazy or anything. It was just good to be back around all the people that I know and back in the community that, you know, I'm, I. I don't want to say that I started, but a lot of the meets that were around there, especially like the ones that happened a lot, like very often, uh, they were hosted by me. So that was like, it was one of the things I love doing. And um, I think I'll try hosting some down here in Virginia, um, but I, I got to, you know, meet more people and everything before I start trying to host a meet. Uh, in Maryland, I knew a ton of people, so it worked out really well, and then those people would invite people, so it just, it worked. Um, so, yeah, I miss them, but it's not the end. It will definitely happen some more. The next question is, do you miss working on the general, um, and how is she? Uh, I guess it would be he, because it's named after a guy, but, um, yes, I miss working on that car very much, um, but, 
it has not just been sitting. That car has basically spent the past two years in the shop. Um, it, it's a different animal than it was before, and uh, I'm excited to put content out um, when I'm able to. Um, it's back at home in Maryland, so I don't have it with me here in Virginia. Oh, I do look forward to making content with it though and showing everybody what was done to the car since the last time they saw it because I know it's been a very long time uh, since everyone saw it. I did keep making content on the car. I will have something to show you guys from, you know, over the past two years. It probably won't be as much as I should have filmed, but I did film for you and I tried to make it quality content. It wasn't just vlogs. I tried to use cinematics and really put some nice together for everybody uh, who wanted to who wants to see that car the next question I got is what branch you're in um, I'm in the Navy um, I've been in for about six months uh, the next one is how do you pronounce your last name so I have a really crazy last name uh, it's spelled H R Y H O R E N K O and the way to pronounce it is Hrorenko. yeah I get asked that a lot of people at work because we're when when you're in the Navy or the military in general you get called by your last name so people call me hydro because that's what they called my dad when he was in the Navy so I just carried it down um, the next question was um, what is it like being a seaman uh, when you could have joined the Air Force well, let me tell you something I am NOT a seaman don't call me a seaman I'm an airman I am in aviation in the Navy the best aviation Period. The next question was long-term car goal, uh, long-term goals with cars, uh, future cars, project cars, and wants. Um, long-term, long-term goals with cars. The Saab. I have a lot planned for it, but I don't want to tell you. I want to be able to surprise you with the content that I'm pushing out. Close friends and everything will know what's going on with the car and what I what I have planned for it. But uh, I don't want to just you know give everything out on YouTube I want to be able to actually like you know let y'all look forward to the content instead of knowing what's happening with it but um, I will say that the route I'm taking with this car is very different than a lot of other Saab owners um, I do know a few people who have done similar things and um, there's somebody in New York somebody in Jersey somebody in Florida uh, bunch of people in Sweden somebody in Russia but basically it's a very like it's a very like small crowd of people that do what I'm trying to do with this car and a lot of it is custom work because a lot of parts are very hard to find for this car so we'll see how it goes I I do have big plans for the car um the generally it's getting really close to what I've been trying to get it to um, it's pretty much right there at the end um, so I mean y'all will see where that has progressed and like I said it's very close to where I've been wanting to get it so I don't really know what's gonna happen to it in the future um, it'd probably just be little things getting some body work done to get everything cleaned up because it has been used and abused it was daily driven for um, since 20 from 2014 till about 2017 late 2017 early 2018 something around there so um, it was a very very hard 70,000 miles that were put on the car um, it's been everywhere from New York to Florida or it might not have been to Florida I think it's been everywhere from New York to Georgia or Tennessee somewhere in that area but um it has it has been a very good car um, it hasn't been in the shop because you know it was always breaking we did find issues once it got to the shop but I'll explain everything with that in the video for that car future cars like I said earlier I really really want to get my hands on the JZX 100 whether I will drift that or not I don't know um, I do want to get a newer body style charger um that is that's more content that y'all will see it's kind of complicated right now but i do want a new body style charger as daily um 
I definitely, definitely, definitely want a drift car. Um, I want a diesel uh, truck to be able to put stuff like the General Lee on a trailer if something happened or transporting certain cars really far or whatever that I might need it for or even just transporting parts because like I mean I don't really have any cars that I could fit like certain stuff in so um, I definitely want to get a truck at some point um, and probably at some point in the future I'll get a motorcycle I had one I never put content out on it uh, it was just a learner bike, it was a CBR 250, uh, and I had just sold it a couple months ago, if even. So, that's kind of where I'm at for future cars. Um, and project cars really falls under a lot of the stuff I just talked about um, and want, so that, that's kind of all the same same question. Um, the next one is a statement, set, or I guess it's a question, but it's kind of a statement. Uh, it says, why is 80s Euro so hard? Saab, BMW, Volkswagen, etc. Um, I don't know. Um, Saab in the 80s, I don't like them. Um, I like anything. I only like Saab 93. Uh, I only like the Saab 93 chassis from 2003 till the end of Saab. Um, I'm very picky with Saabs. Um, so I can't really agree with that, but um, 80s BMWs, yeah, I got, I totally agree with you there. And uh, Volkswagen, yeah, I mean, so besides Saab, I'm, I'm pretty much with you. I just don't like older Saabs. They're very ugly cars to me. Um, the next question is 2012 Camaro SS or 2012 Mustang 5.0. So. Um, so obviously I'm a Dodge guy, but if I had to choose, um, well, here's what I don't like about each car. Um, the 2012 Camaro, even Camaros now, uh, basically all the modern Camaros, they have a very small front windshield and blind spots around the whole car that are god awful. I absolutely do not like them. And I stopped liking the way Camaros looked in 2014 when they started to get a little bit more round of a shape. Um, so that's kind of my opinion on Camaros. Um, and if I was to own one, I wouldn't get an SS. I'd get a Z28, but that's just personal, personal preference. Um, as for the Mustang, um, 2012s aren't that bad. Um, it does have a live rear axle, I think it's called. So, in order to not become a meme, uh, you'd have to get a Watts Link uh, rear end. So, there's that. Um, if I had to choose one over the other, I'd probably go with a Mustang. Um, I don't know. That's that's tricky because I, like I said, if I was to get a Camaro, I would want a Z28. If I got a Mustang. I don't think I would be that happy with it. I don't think I'd be truly happy with either car. They're, they're just, they both have a lot of things that I don't like about them. So if I had to choose, I guess it'd be a Mustang uh, 5.0. The next question is best experience in boot camp. Um, I don't know, probably when so every night they would call lights out and we'd all have to get in our racks and be quiet and we're supposed to be going to sleep. Did we ever go to sleep? Not really. We pretty much would all get up. Um, me and all my buddies would hang out at night and talk and a lot of us would motivate each other to you know push harder and study harder because um, we would get asked these questions during inspections and I had a really really hard time learning these questions. Um, which, looking back on it, they weren't even hard. It's just that, like, I would get so nervous when the uh, inspector would come up to us and ask us the question that I'd like, my mind would go blank. So, just having everybody there supporting each other and like the times where we were really like better than other divisions, that was a really good feeling and like how proud we were of ourselves and how we carried ourselves after stuff like that. That was probably one of the best things that uh, I feel like 
happen in boot camp. Uh, the next question is, if you could import one car from Japan, what would it be? Um, it has to be a car you would drift, no street cars, slidey boy. So, if I was to get a drift car from Japan, um, I want a JZX 100, but I don't know if I'd have the heart to slide it. Um, if I got one, I'd, I'd just want it to be really clean, something that I could, you know, go to events like uh, shows with, uh, something that I could go to shows with. So, um, maybe a JZX 90, uh, possibly a Laurel. Um, Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, those are like the cars that I'm really into. I, like I said earlier, I really love four-door cars, so those are probably the ones that I, you know, lean towards. Um, what do you think about the Ford Bronco, and will or would you get one? Um, personally, I don't think I'll ever own one. Uh, I don't dislike them I think they're cool I just couldn't see myself owning one um, they're just not really for my taste the next question is what would you engine swap the Saab if I was to engine swap the Saab honestly I'd do something really wild like I wouldn't do it to this chassis because this chassis I already have plans for but if I got like a blown up motor Saab or something and I was to uh, motor swap it I'd probably either do like a K series Honda or um, convert it to rear wheel drive and LS swap just as a drift card. LS swap, yeah, 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 but just to be unique, there it would be the only LS swap 93. So I think it would be really cool. Uh, they're front wheel drive cars, some are all wheel drive, um, but I think it would be really cool to have a rear wheel drive one that you could drift. Um, I really wish Saab did make them rear wheel drive. I think they could have been really amazing cars uh, as rear wheel drive chassis. Um, they handle outstanding with the front wheel drive and the uh, rear wheel steering, but I think they would have took off a lot more um, around the world if they were a rear wheel drive chassis. The next question is, what do you think about your RDCs now? The RDCs are like your instructors that you deal with every day in boot camp. Um, and what they taught you in boot camp. So, what do I think about them now? Um, I actually got set back in boot camp for missing classes while being sick. Uh, I got set back a week, so I ended up being there an extra week. Um, my first division, my RDCs were very, very hard on me, and my rack mate, the person that uh, was on the bottom bed of the bunk bed, um, they were very hard on the both of us. Later down the road, I found out that um, my rack mate told our RDCs that we wanted to be the best and we wanted to be pushed harder, and we definitely were. Um, it sucked. It was there were there were days where it was just awful, but um, I definitely appreciate how they were with us. I think um, we had we had a stronger. We came out stronger mentally than uh, a lot of the other people that we were around. Um, my second division, uh, the RDCs were, they were fun, um, but they were nowhere near as serious as my first ones. Uh, my first ones, we always strived to be the best. We were always trying to beat other divisions. My second uh, division, we tried, but like they didn't really you know ride us too hard if you know we didn't do great and uh, so for that I do appreciate my first division more and those RDC's more um, one of the things that stuck with me through you know since I've got out of boot camp uh, that my RDC said to me um, there was a shooting in Pensacola Florida um, it was at the it was at where I went to training. Uh, the shooting happened while I was doing so in boot camp before I went to training there in Florida. But um, my RDCs had taught some of the uh, the airmen that were training there in Pensacola, 
and uh, basically what happened was those airmen were trying to stop somebody from shooting up the base and um, they lost their lives. What my RDC said to us was that um, we're not here to make cowards. Um, we're here to make the airmen that will jump in front of the bullet, that will protect other people that are actually here to serve. And uh, that's one of the things that hit me really deep while we were in uh, boot camp and that has stuck with me till this day. Um, obviously it hasn't been that long since I got out of boot camp, but it was something that hit me really hard. Um, especially once I got to Pensacola and you know walking down this like main strip of walkway, um, there was always flowers there and uh you know it it hit deep um i'm gonna move on to the next question because i don't want to get too sappy but uh what is the best diesel truck to get in my opinion um either a 7.3 or a 7.3 ford uh power stroke or a 12 valve cummins um i'd prefer i prefer a cummins um just because I'm a Dodge fan. Uh, the 7.3s are really good motors. Um, the diesel truck that I really want to get is a third gen, coming, uh, third gen Cummins, which has the 24 valve, which is not as great of a motor as the 12 valve, but I really like the way they look. Um, so that's what I think. Um, the last question that I have is, what did you score on the ASVAB? The first time I took the ASVAB was my senior year of high school. Um, I got like a 50 something. I did not do that great. Uh, my second time taking it, I got a 60 something. So I did improve. Um, it is really important to get a good ASVAB score. Otherwise you can get stuck with a really crappy job. Um, I'm not proud of my ASVAB score, but I'm, I know that like, I know that I could have done a lot worse, um, and I did try to study and you know improve my score, and I did. So that was also really big to me, being able to improve on my score after being out of school for, I think it was like two or three years. Um, that was big to me because I didn't think I would be able to score any higher. Um, that's it for the Q&A. I just wanted to answer some questions for everybody. We got a lot more questions than I was expecting to get. I thought it was gonna be a really short one. Um, so I'm really happy with that. Um, uh, for the future, the near future, I'm gonna try and keep putting out content. Um, I've, I started going out to meet again, so maybe doing some filming. I've been trying to reach out to people about filming cars, so it's basically just whenever they're ready to do it. And um, if it is like a private shoot, I do charge, so that's also you know part of what comes into it. Um, if they want their car shop privately by me then um you know they they have to decide whether they really want to pay for it or not um so i will try and keep putting out content um i'm gonna try putting out more military related content too because i know there's a lot of people that want to see that kind of stuff so basically that's a wrap for this video thank you guys so much for watching um if you haven't already subscribed please like um watch some of my older videos uh there's quite a bit of content that I have posted uh, that didn't do very well uh, views wise that I feel like I worked really hard on and should have gotten a little more. And there's also some pretty bad quality content up there, but uh, you know, I've been trying to progress as, uh, as I go. So just make sure you guys, you know, help support the channel and everything. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you.